started Pupil back in 1999, and it was a vision when I was at sea. Um, I basically had a vision to come back home and help people because I, I traveled the world and I saw a lot of disadvantage going on. And this was something dear to my heart because I wanted to empower young people. And we started working with our music. We started doing uh, health programs, uh, uh, music therapy. We, we, we then did career mentoring with the youth. And as we progressed over the decades and the years, um, I started to see some disadvantages with veterans. My brother called me up one day and said, Grant, I want you to come work with me, with my organization, and I want you to be able to you know, do what you do like you've done with the young people, do it for our veterans. And so Heroes Hangout was birthed in 2018, and we've been on this road ever since, really empowering our veterans. We started out seeing about 2,500 veterans a month out of our Heroes Hangout facility in New Mexico. And as it grew, we just knew we had something, and we wanted to really continue to bring the right resources to our veterans, giving them music therapy, helping them with their, their benefits, you know, making sure they had the resources that they need. If they were homeless, you know, getting them in a, in a house, getting them what they, what they truly needed. These guys fought for our country. I'm a veteran as well. My brother's a service disabled veteran from the Air Force, and our heart is, is for real about what we're doing. Um, so that's kind of how we, how, we, how we came to fruition with Heroes Hangout and this Veterans Harley Giveaway. We want to do something special for our veterans each year and every year and just show them that we appreciate them and, you know, bring more awareness to help them in these different areas that they're suffering in. Additionally, one, one of the things that I started Heroes Hangout is, is to bring health care awareness to the veterans in, in and around my, uh, the clinics that we operate for the Department of Veteran Affairs. Uh, once I opened the clinic, I had, uh, I had uh, people telling me that they enjoyed bringing their veterans there because of the camaraderie, because of the, the uh, resources they had available. Uh, I had available in there, the, the VSO would come in and help veterans um, get the services that they, that they required. But one of the biggest things that really stood out to me was the, the uh, background checks on veterans when they, get, when they go to get housing. A lot of veterans have run into, uh, not all of them, but a lot of veterans that we try to help, Pupil and Heroes Hangout try to help, is our veterans that have been previously incarcerated, homeless, uh, formerly drug addicted veterans, and these are the veterans that we really want to touch because these are the ones that run into issues when they, when they are looking for housing. They don't have problems finding jobs because jobs will hire you with a bad background, but housing will not allow these sorts of veterans to stay in their in their uh, in their communities, if they have anything in their background that doesn't jive with what the the uh, apartment complex is looking for, you know. So this is something that was very near and dear to my heart. I was homeless for a while, um, you know, sleeping on a park bench, and then one day I just decided that I, I had enough. Of, I, I was sick and tired of being sick and tired, and decided I wanted to do something different with my life. I, I decided to uh, get my nurse degree, my nursing degree, my nurse practitioner degree. I opened up uh, a couple of primary clinics here in Texas and it grew from there. And I just, it's always been something, on, it's always been on my heart to help the veteran community, which is why I started my, my company, which is why I started why I started Primary Care Solutions, which supplies uh, primary care services, mental behavioral health services, which supplies primary care and behavioral health services to veterans nationwide. This is something that has always been near and dear to my heart. The health care of our veterans is very important, and we should all be looking, looking for ways, and we should all be looking for ways to help them have a better a better life